JJ Vinick stock cars out on the track right now. And starting on the pole, 13M car, that is James K Jr. To the outside, the 90, Lucas Phillips. Row number two to the inside, the big German, the 59X of Hans Hofick. Into the outside, the 5E of Mel Ellsbury. Your final row is going to see the 55 JR, Greg Taylor, and the 30 of your current track or defending track champion, current points leader, Travis Barker. That's come through turns three and four. Jesse has flag in hand. RPMs come up. Green flags out, and we're on our way. James McCain Jr. lead the field into turns one and two. Lucas Phillips right there as well. Three wide through turns one and two. Almost four wide. Now back down to three wide between Taylor, Hofek, and Barker. Barker on the outside, Ellsbury to the outside as well as McKay pushes through the middle. Four wide, almost coming off turn number four. Three wide coming into turn number one now. Greg Taylor on the bottom, still three wide through turn 22. Here comes Barker shooting the gap through the middle up to that second place spot now in car number 30. McCabe still out in front. Car pushing through the corners in turn three and four. Travis Barker, he's going to be your new race leader off of turn four. McCabe back to the inside of the 13M. Greg Taylor up to that third place spot. Three wide for a split moment between Holfeck, Ellsbury, and Phillips at the back of the pack. But it's Hans Holfeck pulling a two for one special at the Kmart as he passes by both Holfeck and Phillips to take over that fourth place spot. Travis Barker, your oh, big slip up by the 13M of McCabe. He is going to lose second to Taylor. And now it looks like he's possibly going to lose third to Hans Holfick. It is all Travis Barker right now. Greg Taylor in second. And again in turn two, James McCabe Jr. bobbles again. He is going to lose more spots as it is now. White flag out. Barker, Taylor, Holfick, Ellsbury, and then McCabe. McCabe this time does not bobble, but it's not going to matter. Travis Barker's gonna win heat race number one. Greg Taylor will take second, Hans Hovick in third. Fourth to Mel Ellsbury, and a 13M. James McCabe Jr. round out your top five. Thank you, it is outside. That's gonna be a 13 of Glenn Jones. The inside of number two, drive the 49 car. That is Ryan Harris. And to the outside, the 94, Todd Jarreau. And your third and final heat race is gonna see your second place man in points to the inside. The man they call Pop Pop, Jason Ward. And to the outside, the 4A of Brian Siebold. So coming through turns three and four. Green flag is out and we're on our way with the stock car. Heat race number two. Big Sid Mosier out with the race lead. 27 car, Glenn Jones hitting high side. Ty Jarreau along for the ride as well. Side by side for the race lead. Jones prevails coming into turn number three. Jason Ward the way inside of the track in the 41 car. Coming off turn four. Glenn Jones going to lead lap number one. Mosier in second, but here comes Ty Jarreau. Ty Jarreau, oh, contact from the 94 to the 27. Oh, and then the 41 of Ward and the 4A of Siebold. Incidental contact, trying to avoid the spinning car of Sid Mosier. Jason, oh, that wheel looks a little cambered in more than you would care for on that right front. Oh, yeah, it does. And 440-365, 440-365. Come on up to the announcer's booth. Get yourself some cookies, sauces. We still have quite a few to give away. Right now, Scotty, we are back under green. It is going to be the 13 of Glenn Jones taking the early advantage. The homer madman, Ryan Harris, he switches about five lanes, goes from the bottom to the top. And now that opens the door for the 41 of Ward. Cambered in or not, that 41 car looks like it is working as Harris now trying to go to work on the 13 of Glenn Jones. Jones bobbles just a little bit, then shuts the door right on Harris. Harris has a jam on the brakes, but he is still gonna stay right in step with Jones as he is now gonna try and dime in the corner, drive it down the low side, still can't quite get it done. He's right on the back bumper of the J&J &J finish number 13. Can't quite get up to him. Now he's at the rear quarter panel of Jones as uh, they're gonna come out and see the green flag in the air, two laps to go. Two laps to go this time by for your race leader, Glenn Jones in the 13. Now coming under attack from the 49er, Ryan Harris, Jason Ward there as well. And the four car Siebold at the back of the pack coming through turns three and four. 
Jason Ward going to the whip in the 41 car. White flag is out one more time around. Jones pushes up the track in one and two. Here comes Ward to the inside off of two. Now will take over the race lead slightly coming into turn three. Ward pitches it deep, drives it in too far and goes for a slide. He will get shuffled back to third. Glenn Jones is gonna be your heat race winner. Ryan Harris second, Jason Ward in third. And then Brian Siebold rounding out the field. Wow. So as they come off turn number four, it's a main time here tonight on Cookies, Sauces, and Seasonings Night. The track is set, and these drivers are game. This is the class too tough to tame. Your J&J Feedings IMCA stock car class. These drivers are waving at you. Make sure to wave back at them as they're about to put a show on here tonight. Once again, 12 cars, 18 laps of distance. Keep an eye on row number four. That is your points battle. Current points leader, the 30 of Travis Barker. He is within, he has just a scant lead over the 41 of Jason Ward. They are within five points of each other with three nights to go, including tonight. So keep an eye on that row four. But right now, as they come into three and four, it is Jones and Mosier leading them down. Green is out. It is going to be Glenn Jones with Ryan Harris and Sid Mosier right there trying to battle them out as they go through one and two. Jones going to take the lead. Harris in second. Now Mosier under pressure from the 30 of Barker. Barker also has Ellsbury and Ward right behind him as well. Here comes the 55 JR. Greg Taylor trying to throw his name in the hat. But as they come out of turn number two, not quite able to clear a two for one special. But Travis Barker with the lead. As Barker leads, Jones now in second, Mosier third, Taylor in fourth, and Ward rounding out that top five. And meanwhile, you have Hofick, Jones, and Harris, six, I'm sorry, Hofick, Chukwu, and Harris, six, seventh, and eighth right now. But they are behind, behind Travis Barker. They are slicing, dicing, and pureeing each other as they are going almost four wide for second through fifth. Now Mel Ellsbury has caught up to the rear bumper of the 41 of Ward as he is going to try and sail it in there. He wants to spot this top five. But right now, it is all Travis Barker leading with Glenn Jones bobbling. Mosier now in second. That gives Jason Ward a shot at third. It is Barker leading, Mosier second. And caution is out for the 13M. James McCabe Jr. at the bottom side of turn number two. As Hot Rod Patterson would say, the wrong way on a one way. So as the RPMs come back up, we're back under green. And Barker drives it down the hill, gets a good run. He is gonna have a sizable gap going down into one. Meanwhile, Mosier and Ward. Ward's gonna take over that second place spot for Mosier, and here comes Greg Taylor. He's gonna get a two for one special as he gets by Jones and Mosier to put himself up in that third place spot. Your top two in points are the top two in the feature as Jason Ward. He is whipping that car like a rented government plow mule trying to get up to the 30 of Travis Barker. He wants to see if he can possibly get a win and steal a point away from the 30 as we are getting very close to the end of the season and every point is gonna matter. Oh, Ward bobbles just a little bit. Greg Taylor now gonna get up to the rear bumper of the 41. The battle is on a little bit further back. You have Jones, Ellsbury, and Mosier battling it out for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Todd Giroux also trying to get his name and telegraph his spot in there as well. But right now, it's all behind your leader, the 30 of Travis Barker. Travis Barker out with a race lead, then Jason Ward, Greg Taylor, run the top side of the track, got the brakes fixed on that 55 JR after losing him last night at the off-road speedway. We are halfway down, halfway to go here in your stock car. A main tonight, Todd Giroux deeper in the field, getting by Glenn Jones in the 13 car. For that fifth place spot, Ellsbury running in fourth. 
Travis Barker leads another lap. Sid Moser trying to go to work on the back bumper of the 13 car. Cannot complete the pass. Travis Barker dives down the hill in turn four. Still with the race lead. Few car lengths ahead. A second place running not only in this race, but in the points of Jason Ward. Land a little distance back to Greg Taylor and then a little distance back to Mel Ellsbury. Ty Giroux almost caught the 5E in turn three and four that time by. Out in front with five laps to go this time by. It is a 30, Travis Barker. Oh, we got two cars around, Brian. Looks like Seabold and, and the Phillips. 90. Yep. Well, Brian, well, 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 that just changed the ball game. Brian Siebold in the 4A. Not sure what happened, but uh, pointed uh, the wrong way in turn one. And Lucas Phillips nowhere to go as well. On some of the cars. You know, on some of these cars, they put the GoPros facing backwards. So you see the great battles happening behind, say, like the race leader or whatnot. So definitely be sure to be on the lookout for those videos when they come out. Pacing the field through turns three and four, though, is Travis Barker. Greens out, and we're back underway. Five laps to go, Travis Barker. Jason Ward right behind him. Greg Taylor on the top side of the track, trying to get to the rear bumper of the 41 car. Travis Barker, oh, Mel Ellsbury, power move to the inside, could not make it stick. As it's still Travis Barker, Jason Ward on the bottom side, Greg Taylor on top. Rim riding around, coming a call, trying to carry the momentum. Ward to the inside of Barker now, slide job, coming off turn four. Who's gonna have it? Travis Barker crosses over, still has a race lead. Jason Ward now to the outside of Barker. Here comes Taylor as well. Taylor along for the ride, Barker to the bottom side of the track. Ward upstairs, coming off turn four. Who's it gonna be? Jason Ward by a nose cone. At the flag stand, Barker back down to the inside. They are duking it out here for that top spot. Shot in the shorts from Ward to Barker. Ellsbury in there as well, contact. As they come to the white flag. Barker out in front, Ward running second. Greg Taylor still on the top side. Ellsbury there as well. Todd Giroux running fifth, end at three and fourth for the final time. Here comes Ward on the bottom, slides, cannot get it done. Travis Barker wins the A main. Travis Barker with another win here at the new Raceway Park. Extending the points lead, Jason Ward Great battle for that top spot the last few laps there between the top two, not only on the track, but in points. But right now, we're going to send it on down to PJ to get some words with Travis Barker. PJ? Oh, Travis, you said earlier this year when you won, it was going to be a war between you and Ward. You had the caution, had a big lead before that, bottled everybody up. What did you think after the restart when you saw Ward come sliding across your nose? I, I was trying to not give him any room down here down in the good stuff there and I actually got a little too high and didn't grab anything myself. I thought I was going to get ugly for a real quick second, but it turned out all right. Uh, you and uh, you and Ward having the battle you had for the last couple of laps. Talk about you and him with that battle. You you can always count on Ward to race clean. He's he's not going to take me out. He's going to let me do what I do and I'm going to let him do what he does and we'll put on a show. Gained one more point with two nights to go. What does that mean to you, Nate, since it's still under five points? It'll, it'll come right down to the end. All right, we'll let you get these uh, folks in here, and congratulations again. Thank you, sir. All right, so once again, your J&J &J Fitting Stock Car feature winner, the 30 of Travis Barker.